Hi everyone, my name is Megan and I am a program specialist at the Cincinnati Museum Center. Today for Wonder Zone, we are going to be doing an activity called Popping Physics. In this activity, we will explore how energy and friction affect a classic toy. To do this experiment at home, you need a rubber popper toy. You can find these on Amazon or in the party favor section of your favorite store. And if you can't find one of these, you can always take a racquetball, cut it in half, and it works the exact same way. You're also going to need a meter stick, masking tape, a smooth surface like a table, and a rough surface like a towel or a carpeted floor. In this activity, we're going to test and see which surface allows our popper toy to fly further, a smooth table or a rough surface. Now, what we're gonna do is we are going to hold our meter stick up, we're gonna turn our popper toy inside out, and we're going to measure it from both surfaces. So I'm going to start with my rough surface, I'm gonna turn my popper toy inside out. I'm gonna hold it next to my meter stick and then I'm going to let it go. And then when I, I'm going to make an observation and see how high on my meter stick it flies. All right, so I noticed it hit around 44. So I'm going to take a piece of tape and mark that so I can remember how high the toy flew. And then I'm going to repeat that experiment by turning the toy inside out and having it pop from my smooth surface. Now is a good time to make a prediction on whether you think the toy will fly higher from the rough surface or the smooth surface. So I'll make sure I have this, I'll put it down. Whoop! And it looked to me like it got up to around 88. So I'll take my masking tape and I will mark that. And then I will compare my two pieces of tape. And if you look at my meter stick, you can see that the toy was able to fly much higher from the smooth surface than it was from the rough surface. Now, you might be wondering why that is, and I'm here to help you figure that out. If you take your hand and you rub it over your smooth surface and then over your rough surface, you'll notice that it's much easier to move your hand over the smooth surface. And that's because of something called friction. Friction is an object's resistance as it moves over another object. So if the smooth surface has less friction than our rough surface. And when we take our plastic toy and we turn it inside out, it has elastic potential energy. When we let our toy fly, it then has kinetic energy. And kinetic energy is just the energy an object has while in motion. Now, back to friction. When we put our rubber toy on the smooth surface, it doesn't have much friction to overcome. But when we put it on our rough surface, it has to overcome more friction. And as it's overcoming that friction, some of that elastic potential energy is converted into heat energy. And that means it has less kinetic energy to fly up and to move upwards. So the less friction the surface has, the higher your toy is going to be able to fly. If you want to take this experiment and make it your own at home, you can experiment using different surfaces. You can try things inside and outside like grass and concrete. And you just want to make sure that when you're doing this activity, you're keeping your popper toys away from fragile or breakable objects because it's not always easy to tell where these guys are going to fly. All right, don't forget to tune in to our next Wonder Zone video for more fun hands-on learning.